Hey everybody, it's the Fierce Functress here and I'm ready to talk to you guys about Atomic Blonde. I went into this screening with a completely open mind. I was ready to be wowed. And let's be honest, Charlize Theron has solidified herself as an action star. I have loved her since the Italian job. So when I found out that she was doing this movie, I said, this is worth taking a chance on. And the trailer looked interesting, although it was kind of choppy, which is how I like my trailers. I don't want to pretty much know everything that's going to happen. So I went in like, okay, let's see what this is. And oh, I'm so disappointed. Now, to be absolutely fair, she is a bona fide action star. And the way that they directed her action scenes were some of the most realistic you know, action scenes that I've seen in a while, of course they're going to be a little crazy. But there were moments that weren't supposed to be funny, but they were funny just because it was pretty realistic. So collectively as a theater, we, you know, we were cracking up. So that was a plus. The action is good. The script, the screenplay, it's not. It's so all over the place. It's so scattered. And quite frankly, when it's not an action scene, this movie is very slow. So as we're going along, I was just finding myself an hour into it like, okay, what exactly is this movie about? What's our objective here? What exactly is going on? I'm not really sure, but I'm going to keep taking this ride because I'm here and I'm all for her, right? I'm supporting her. Um, but let me tell you guys, by the time we got to the final act, I was exhausted, okay? I was done. And I really cannot tell you how much I want you to avoid this movie. <laughs> and let me tell you, the action is good. But please do not spend your money or your time on this. If I could get a super cut for you of all the action scenes, you'd be set. But the plot, what is going on here? And then by the time you get to the end, then they try to bring it all together. It just still doesn't make sense or you just don't care because you're exhausted. So I'm sorry, Atomic Blonde. I wanted you to be good. I'm going to give you two out of five twizzlers because the action scenes were great. And I hope that she finds a script that matches her talent. But for now, this one is a save for cable, maybe on a rainy day movie. All right, that's my thoughts. If you saw it and you loved it, let me know. If you saw it and you hated it, let me know. All right, guys, I'll talk to you next.